Psalms, chapter 9, verse 18, <clears throat> it says, For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Um, and this says, Poverty is a hard heritage, but those who trust in the Lord are made rich by faith. They know that they are not forgotten of God, and though it may seem that they are overlooked in his providential dis distribution of good things, they look for a time when all this shall be righted. Even now the Lord remembers his poor but precious sons, so the godly poor have great expectations. They expect the Lord to provide them all things necessary. They expect to see all things working for their good. They expect to have closer fellowship with, with their Lord. They expect his second advent and to share its glory. This expectation cannot perish, for it is laid up in Christ Jesus, who lives forever. And because he lives, it shall live also. Therefore, let us, when we have short commons below, think of the royal table above. Yeah, I think that's, that's pretty accurate. I hear the if you're not blessed financially or with a bunch of stuff then you're something's wrong you know, something's wrong in your life but that's you know so not true we just we just need to to remember that Cause, you know we we see that <coughs> all around us in the in the world you know, it's, um, this advertisement, that advertisement, this high-end executor or whatever, you know, just, you know, got to have things, got to have stuff, got to have more of this, got to have more of that, more monies, more power, more fame, more whatever, and if not, then you're nothing. But the, you know, the Bible tells us different. And we are rich in faith. You don't need stuff to have a good relationship with God. And, and rich in love. And rich in love, yes. Yes. I was thinking the other day how we live in the land of plenty, and it crossed my mind. We live in the land of plenty of debt. You know, all these these so richly successful people, much of it's a facade, that if they weren't carrying loans and, you know, borrowing, their possessions would be minuscule and meager. Um, So it's easy to to look like somebody has it all together. Mm -hmm. It's easy to look like somebody's successful sure. when when it's all borrowed. But what really does that person do? Most people possess. Most people don't even possess, you know, their furniture if they bought it on time, their car, their home. Multiples. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, credit cards. Uh, yeah. And that we've talked about this before, how yeah. it yeah. transpires over into the church, and there's that we've seen that competition before. We've seen that 
people going into debt so that they can look as successful or as blessed as somebody else and it's you know it's yep. it's that peer pressure mentality that we see in school from high school to college at work we don't it, it's like trying to fix that problem that we're waiting for God to fix we get tired of waiting for him so we try to fix it we get tired of of waiting for that blessing so we try to achieve it you know right. the, the material or financial blessing and yeah. that it never works out well in the end you know I, when we obtain stuff you know that stuff doesn't make us happy doesn't bring joy to us not really and getting uh a new item that's needed is is one thing but you know just to, to buy stuff to to try to fulfill a need that don't work i think i think we you know people get caught up in that you know our our, re, our reward will we'll get our reward when the lord calls us home for sure and yeah, who knows who knows what he's going to do from now till then. Mm -hmm. The Lord is definitely our blessing. He is our provision. Is that what you want to pray for us? Okay. Lord, please help us not focus on material goods. Um, help us to realize that you are better than those. Please help us to want to spend time with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.